What is going on YouTube? We are back with another video uh, for the channel. Officially, I, I plan to not disappear again for another eight to nine months and dish out no content. Terrible. I'm sorry guys. It's disappointing that I, I continue to do that. I blame it on my laziness. I'm a very, very, very terrible procrastinator. I start something, then I don't finish it, and then boom. Next thing you know, nine months that's fast. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna try to prevent that going forward and try to dish out some daily content. You know, maybe two videos, I don't wanna say a day, maybe about two to three a week. Um, I feel like that's much more manageable. But anyways, let's go ahead and focus on the topic for today. It has to do with KH3 and the FF7 Remake. And as far as the hype dying down on these two games, these two juggernaut of the games. Um, as far as KH3 goes, yes, we did receive a trailer recently. Um, as far as E3 goes, it was pretty solid. I don't want to say it was the greatest, but it was decent. And, you know, it showed, you know, like, obviously the same worlds and gameplays and, you know, new content. It's funny that they mentioned Roxy, so I thought that was cool. I was more interested as far as what happened at the end of the trailer showing that the release date of the new world announcement is supposed to be happening July 15th so I'm excited for that but at the same time hopefully they can be able to squeeze in an announcement as far as when the game is officially being released because I feel like it's going to fall into that FF15 category you know they waited so long to dish out the game and once the game was actually released I felt like it didn't live up to the expectations I felt like to this day it's still an incomplete product and I don't want KH3 to fall into that category so Square Enix don't make us wait too long we are the consumers and if you make it like during this time that we're waiting you can at least give us updates it doesn't have to be trailers screenshots you know something give us something to work with because we're just gonna not care <laughs> at some point I feel like that's what they want us to do not care crazy um the other title is ff7 remake same thing i guess you know give us updates it's been a while since we received that last trailer which was you know awesome to see that they uh, came so far and what we think you know was a short amount of time so that's awesome but at the same time they're dealing with struggles with the developments issues you know everyone being on the same page and whatnot um, we understand that, but as consumers, if you guys just give us little nuggets here and there, like I said, doesn't have to be trailers, you know, updates, tweets, you know, something with your social media account, so that we're not just waiting and waiting and waiting at some point, you know, unless it's the hardcore fans of the series and the franchise, they're going to forget about it, or they're not going to care anymore. You definitely don't want that. You know, I saw in a recent article, uh, one of the Japan articles, that... You know, these games aren't even in top 10. I mean, they're in top 10, but they're not in top 5. You know, Cage 3 was in, like, spot 7. FF7 Remake was in spot 6. That baffles my mind. You know, that's supposed to be the big dog, the big franchise. But Dragon Quest 1 and 2 is dominating. <laughs> that's, you know what I mean? You would think that'd be 1A and 1B. So I think that's kind of insane. Definitely don't want to fall in that um, pit. So, come on, guys. Give us some updates or else... We're not going to play your game, JK, JK. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, I will be uploading more videos soon. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll be having more content coming soon. Peace.